welcome to TIPB News. These are the top stories for the month of October 2019. The state of Alaska has just joined a list of 14 other states that have cut funding to public broadcasting. These cuts come from a number of vetoes by state governor Mike Dunleavy, including cuts to the University of Alaska and the Alaska Supreme Court. As a result, station KIYU has had numerous staff cutbacks, KFSK has had to cancel its American Public Media membership, and fundraising efforts for stations across the state have gained massive support. In the meantime, these stations will have to make do with what they have until the Alaska Legislature can override Dunleavy's veto at their next meeting. On a sad note, the face of one of PBS's first variety shows has passed away. Marshall Efren was the host of The Great American Dream Machine, produced by WNET New York and distributed by PBS. Working alongside such future big names like Chevy Chase, Albert Brooks, Henry Winkler, and Penny Marshall, Marshall Efren is best remembered for his sketches on the show, satirizing American advertising through the grading of olives as giant, jumbo, extra large, and gargantuan, and by reconstructing a supermarket lemon pie according to its lengthy ingredients, Factory fresh, factory approved, no lemons, no eggs, no cream, just pie. After the great American dream machine left the airwaves, Efren continued working in television with Painless Sunday School. Marshall Efren was 81 years old. On a lighter note, PBS Kids has announced a new series that will be premiering in 2020. Hero Elementary is an upcoming animated series featuring children with superpowers attending elementary school and using creative problem solving and teamwork to solve mysteries and prevent disasters. The series is produced by Portfolio Entertainment and Twin Cities Public Television and will air on PBS stations across America in summer of 2020. As a final item, Sesame Street will soon be making its debut in Lego form. After a lengthy fall 2019 review, the LEGO company unveiled the newest sets for its LEGO Ideas series. Among these sets, 123 Sesame Street, created by LEGO Ideas user Ivan Guerrero. The building features the main apartment building for the series, Oscar's Trash Can, Big Bird's Nest, and the set for Elmo's World. The project has yet to go through the design phase before release, but should be available to the public sometime in 2020. Now, here's what's coming up for the month of November. The PBS Fall Arts Festival will continue each Friday, featuring the best of Broadway musicals, including 42nd Street, The King and I, and Kinky Boots, along with Much Ado About Nothing and Red. The new PBS Kids animated series Xavier Riddle and the Secret Museum will premiere on Monday, November 11th, and the new Nature Cat special, A Nature Carol, will air on Friday, November 29th. And don't forget that most PBS stations will be holding their annual December Fun Drive during the last week of November. So if you aren't yet a member, then please consider donating then to get some cool gift items for your friends and family. Stop the show! <laughs> okay, and it's time once again for the PBS local station shout out. Now, we've covered states all over the country in the past few weeks and months. Now let's see which one we shall be looking at today drawn from the very pretty act. Get hold of one. We're going to be heading to Southern California next with Valley PBS. Valley PBS is operated by KVPT Fresno. The station was formed by the Fresno County Public Schools District in 1977, which later sold the station to Valley Public Television. After KCET Los Angeles left the PBS network in 2011, Valley PBS is now the only PBS member station operating between Merced and Bakersfield. The station produces local and national programming, including Outside with Greg Aiello, Silent Sacrifice, Tapped Out, and a video sharing platform called Valley PBS by You. If you're in the area of Fresno or Bakersfield, you can tune in to Valley PBS on Channel 18, with PBS Kids on the Dot 2 channel, Create on the Dot 3 channel, and World on the Dot 4 channel.
Thank you for watching, folks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, feel free to like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment below. Ring the bell. And also, don't forget to support your local PBS stations so more news items like these can continue to come to your home through YouTube. Until next time, I'm Captain Rutledge. Good day.